Welcome back to the Right Now Powder Coating channel. Today we're gonna to be diving into the top 10 powder coating mistakes that you need to avoid and the solutions if you want a flawless professional finish every single time. Whether you're starting out or you've been coating for years and need a refresher, these tips will help step up your game. Let's jump right in. Mistake number one, skipping proper surface preparation. Dust, oil, rust, and other things can ruin your finish. The solution, make sure you use various prepping techniques, such as stripping, sanding, cleaning, phosphating, drying, masking, depending upon your part project requirements, and preferences. Remember, the prep is everything. Mistake number two, incorrect curing times and temperatures. Powder coating isn't just about applying the powder. It's also about curing it correctly in the oven. Too short or too low of a temperature and you'll end up with a weak finish. Too long or too high of a temperature and you might burn your powder. Solution, always follow the manufacturer's recommendations for time and temperature and set your oven up accurately. Your finish will thank you later. Mistake number three, poor grounding. Without a good ground, your powder won't stick evenly to the part. It can create patchy and uneven coats. Ensure your parts are properly grounded to attract the powder evenly. Solution, use your powder coating gun's ground if it comes with one such as the Eastwood or the Vivor gun. Or you can create your own ground by drilling a hole in the floor and hammering a copper rod eight feet down into the ground and attaching your part to that rod through an electrical wire. Mistake number four, over or under spray in your parts. Overspray can lead to thick, uneven layers that can run and have poor adhesion, while underspraying can leave you with an unprotected bare spot. The solution, practice makes perfect. Keep a consistent and recommended distance from your part and use a smooth overlapping stroke to get that perfect even coat every time. Mistake number five, not shaking or mixing up your powder properly. Powder can settle, which leads to clogs and uneven color distribution. The solution, give your powder a good shake or roll it on the ground before use. If you have a pickup tube that sticks down into the powder's bag, make sure its height is not too low, that it's actually sucking up the powder container and not the powder itself or too high that it doesn't optimally funnel the powder where it's more thoroughly present. Mistake number six, using the wrong type of powder. Powders come in many different forms and colors and are formulated for specific applications and substrates. The solution to this is easy. Check your project requirements and choose a powder that's best suited for your material. Read those labels, do your research, and always talk to your manufacturers. Mistake number seven, neglecting equipment maintenance. A dirty or clogged powder coating gun or other equipment can lead to inconsistent consistent spray pattern and poor finish. Solution, regularly inspect your equipment, replace the wear parts, and keep your equipment clean and well-maintained for the best results and optimal performance. Mistake number eight, ignoring environmental conditions. The temperature, humidity, and dust levels can dramatically affect your powder coating process. Solution, make sure you work in a clean, controlled environment whenever it's possible to avoid things like powder contamination. Consider using something like a spray booth to contain and capture the overspray and help keep other debris out. Mistake number nine, a limited voltage control. The cheaper powder coating guns on the market have limited voltages such as a single or dual voltage system and can cause issues with your powder adhesion, especially on second or multiple coats. The solution is to find the most professional gun that you can afford, such as a Vivor gun, which has multiple choices when it comes to your powder coating power. Mistake number 10, overlooking safety measures. And finally, never overlook your safety. Powder coating involves fine particles that can cause health issues when they're inhaled, and also the process involves high heat. Solution, always follow safety guidelines and wear your PPE. That may include gloves, spray hoods, respirators, full body protection, and more. And there you have it, the top 10 common powder coating mistakes and their solutions. Get these right and you'll be on your way to a flawless professional finish every single time. If you found these tips to be helpful, hit that like button, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you won't miss a single video. Leave a comment down below sharing which mistakes you've learned from the hard way or any other tips and questions you may have. Again, thank you for watching and until next time, get out there and code something.